At this place in history, we're on South Willard Street in Burlington and with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. And Steve, I, I've got to point out here first, we're back in the same spot we've already been. It's a lot warmer than the last time, so why are we back at the exact same house? His name was William Wells, and he was a, a very wealthy, influential Vermonter later in life. But as a young man, he was the most decorated Vermont soldier in the American Civil War. He enlisted as a private, and by the time he mustered out in 1865, he was a major general. Why is there a statue of a Civil War general here in Burlington? This is a copy of a statue that was erected on the military park at Gettysburg. The statue in Gettysburg is at the base of Big Round Top near Plum Creek. Um, and it's commemorating uh, his uh, valor, he won the Medal of Honor, um, and those of his troops in the 1st Vermont Cavalry. He was the last commander of the cavalry of the Army of Potomac. A couple of things about William Wells. One is he's the most decorated uh, Civil War soldier from Vermont. He enlisted as a private, and he, in 1861 and in 1865, he left the war as a major general. Uh, the 1st Vermont Cavalry was in 78 engagements throughout the length of the Civil War. He was in 70 of those. So it's not like he was sitting behind a desk or anything. He was a, he was a combat officer for the entire war. Um, and he was a Medal of Honor uh, recipient. So this is a sculpture that shows the charge of the 1st Vermont Cavalry on the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, the Union wasn't really winning this battle. The Confederacy got their most of their armies there first, so it really was a holding action by the Union Army so that the rest of their troops could get to Gettysburg. But how do we hold these troops? The Vermont troops were asked to charge the Confederate lines at Plum Creek at the base of Big Round Top. It was really considered a suicide charge, but it was meant to stop the southern troops and really slow them down. Um, a General Farnsworth was in charge of, of leading this cavalry action, um, but he was shot very early on. And he's depicted in the, um, on the left-hand side of this sculpture, he's slumped over his horse. Um, so he was, he was killed. And so Wells, who was the major at the time, took over the charge. And there he is, right at the front of that charge, leading it, soared up in the air. And they did. They charged across the field. Um, they were being shot at by Confederate soldiers on both sides and from the front. But they charged in. They went through the Confederate lines. He wheeled them around. And then he extracted his troops. They lost a bunch, but he was able to, to pull them out. So it wasn't a completely suicide mission. He made it out. Um, that action helped slow down this uh, Southern advance. And so ultimately the, the Union won this battle. After his death, he died fairly young. I believe he was 54 years old when he, when he died of a heart attack. He was commemorated with this statue and a Medal of Honor. And you have something that belonged to him. I right? do. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go back to the studio. We have some really special objects. This is a cavalry guidon, and that's a, a pennant. It's a flag that uh, the cavalry troop would have carried into battle. They got shot up, they got torn up. And this one you can see right on it. It says U.S., United States, Company C, 1st Regiment, Vermont, Cavalry. So this was the Vermont Cavalry, and this is William Wells' unit. This flew in battle throughout the American Civil War and most famously during uh, uh, the charge at Gettysburg. This was at Gettysburg. This, this flag flew at Gettysburg in, in battle. This is actually his, his service weapon. This is what he would have used in battle. Um, it's just a regular plain cavalry sword. Every cavalryman had one of these cavalry saber, if you want to use the right term for it. But what's fascinating about this item is um, he talked about this charge at Gettysburg that he won the Medal of Honor for um, and this, the intense hand-to-hand -hand combat to, to get off the field mm -hmm. and describes being hit in the guard by an enemy sword. And there is a, a mark right here above your knuckles wow. where an enemy sword really cut in and That's dented so this guard. I know, I and mean, look at where your so hand close is. So losing a finger there. That's wow. right. Or worse. So, you know, history through objects. I mean, what these objects can tell that I, I find it absolutely fascinating. And, you know, here's Civil War hero William Wells. That's the sword he used throughout the war. That's incredible. At this place in history.